Two weeks ago, the provinces of KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng were subjected to deliberate and planned and coordinated acts of violence designed to create the conditions of unrest in our country. This led to the loss of more than 300 lives. It led to the looting of shops, warehouses, and factories, damaged critical infrastructure, and the disruption of our country's economy. To ensure that order and stability are maintained, particularly in KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng, we have increased the deployment of our South African police, as well as our soldiers from the South African National Defense Force. We have maintained this deployment in areas regarded as potential hotspots, as well as key economic and government infrastructure, shopping centers, warehouses, and factories. There will be further arrests, particularly of those who conceptualized, who planned and executed these actions that have led to so much destruction and the loss of life. No stone will be left unturned. To support those who have no means of supporting themselves, we are reinstating the Social Relief of Disaster Grant to provide a monthly payment of 350 until the end of March 2022. We are also implementing measures to help businesses to rebuild. The most immediate need is to ensure that those businesses that were damaged or looted are able to rebuild and reopen as quickly as possible. Businesses that are insured will be covered by SASRIA. SASRIA has committed to expedite the payment of all valid claims and is working together with private insurance companies to ensure that assessments are completed without delay. We are therefore working to extend support to uninsured businesses that were affected by the violence. Government will set aside dedicated funds for this purpose and we will soon announce a mechanism for these businesses to apply for support. We are therefore expanding the employment tax incentive for a period of four months to include any employee earning below 6,500 and to increase the incentive amount by up to 750 per month. We will also defer payment of pay-as-you-earn taxes for a period of three months to provide businesses with additional cash flow with an automatic deferral of 35% of pay-as-you-earn liabilities for employers with revenue in their businesses of below 100 million. The payment of excise taxes by the alcohol sector will be deferred for a period of three months to ease the burden on the sector as it recovers. We were there when no other newspaper dared print on a Sunday, when the war to end all wars was declared when one of our own reached for the stars, and when small acts of defiance opened the world's eyes. We were there when a heart got a second chance at beating, when a great rivalry ignited, and when a country rose out of the depths of division to unite. Because for 115 years, we've been bringing you the right now. Sunday Times, paper for the people.